Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. I was thinking about what is my next message going to be? And I heard this song. Come on, everybody, let's see. We got a bomb sledding team. I don't know. They were talking about bomb sledding, and then I was like, bomb sledding? They said, no, bomb sling. So I'm getting that someone's about to slay the game. You're the bomb, or you're about to set shit off. I also was hearing, um, if you guys are, if you guys are up there in age with me, y'all would know this movie, Cool Runnings. I heard, I got pride. I got power. I'm a bad mother sucker that don't take no shit from nobody. Alright, so I'm getting that someone has a lot of power in them. Hold that shit with pride. Cause you're a bad motherfucker that don't need to take shit from nobody. Okay. What are the other intuitive messages, God, before I pick up cards, please? I'm hearing the Janae Egeko mantra, protection mantra. Calm down. You are protected. I'm protected. Calm down. I am protected. I'm seeing a red a red flash in light. It's really small. Oh wow. It's a red light going down like this and it's gone. Wow, I seen a red fireball falling down. Literally not down like this, down like this. I'm hearing that song. Keep your love locked down. Your love locked down. I'm also hearing Kanye say, Kanye West say, You lose. Cause you lose. I keep my love locked down. My love locked down. And you lose. Okay. The red light that I saw. You know how if you go to your TV screen and it has like that little red light or if you open up your computer it will have like a little red light or a little blue light or you know what I'm talking about? That little that little bulb with a light on it. That's what I saw. So somebody's being recorded. Secretly recorded. I'm hearing someone saying, gotcha bitch. I'm also getting that someone's camera light or their camera on their phone is about to break. That's the second time I heard this song today. Can nobody stop my shine? Can nobody hold me down? Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. Why do they need to hold their pride? Their power with pride is what I want to say. So I, I, I heard someone say, take off the wig or take off the hat. Take off the veil. Okay? The approach would be to take off the veil. Okay? Why do they need to hold their pride and their power? I'm getting that's something that you need to work on by the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? I'm also getting that... Um, you need to hold your power with pride because you can be loved and you will be loved. You deserve love. Showered with it. Some of you guys may need to work on giving too much love unto others than yourself. Meaning you, you shower other people with gifts, love, affection. But what do you get back in return? I see pride. I see power. I see a bad motherfucker that don't take no shit from nobody. Yeah, I'm also getting that you guys are destined. Destined to be loved. Destined to be great. Destined to be successful. The star card on top of the eight of pentacles. Some of you guys have a specific type of skill that everybody needs to see. 
Some of you guys are meant to work in the hospital field as doctors, surgeons, even nurse. I just keep hearing it and I see him doing this. I got pride. I got power. I see a bad motherfucker that I don't got. Don't take no shit from nobody. He said, say it again, brother. I said, I got pride. I got power. I'm a bad motherfucker that don't take no shit from nobody. I feel like if your mama didn't say this to you, your daddy didn't say this to you, shit, I'm saying it to you. You got pride. You got power. Don't take no shit from no motherfucking body. Not even your mama. Because sometimes it be the ones that love you the most that take you down the quickest. Moving on. Why else do they need to hold their power with pride? Why else do they need to hold their power with pride? I'm also getting that someone's ashamed of their feet or ashamed of their body. Especially after having a child. Okay? You had a fucking baby. You know how much strength that takes? You know how much power that takes to give birth? I see pride. I see power. I see a bad motherfucker that don't take shit from nobody. Okay? I'm hearing snap that pussy back. Okay? Some of you guys may be having some financial instabilities. Because the king of pentacles came out in reverse. But it said it's okay. You're a boss anyway. You'll find the stability that you need. I'm hearing when the time comes. Reclaim your throne. So I'm getting that you guys have heavy Capricorn um, placements. Or heavy Leo placements. You guys can have even um, heavy ear placements. I'm also getting that when the strategy... When you get the idea or when you get this strategy, when something hits you, like, make sure you act on it. Make sure you don't sabotage yourself by not investing in your own ideas or talking down on yourself. Like, I can't accomplish this. This is not a good idea. Nobody will like that. I don't have the money. I need funds. I don't have, I don't have all the tools I need. I see pride. I see power. I see a bad motherfucker that I can't take or won't take no shit from nobody and then you put this on top of that can I have this please thank you spirit I see pride I see power I see a bad motherfucker I don't take shit from nobody and I'm sorry for those I get irritated with hearing the same fucking thing all over and over this ain't for you then because a person that's supposed to resonate with what I'm saying, feel me internally. You feel me? I'm also seeing that some of you guys have a great idea that can't be stopped or sabotage. This could be with a work. You could be getting an opportunity to get make more money. You could be getting an opportunity to get married. You could be given an opportunity to start your own business or get a new job or buy a new house or get a new car. Whatever the fucking opportunity is, it's specifically for you. Can I get a card, please? For why they should hold their power with pride. I, I heard Mr. T. I pity the fool. I'm getting that you guys are going to have a lot to manage, especially when it comes to like your own creativity. You guys may feel inclined to just be, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? Inspirational. You guys may get the urge to just like, um, I don't know, like start being like indulging in arts and crafts or whatever. Like I just feel like you get a wonderful idea that's like, yo, I haven't did this in a long time. Well, I think I should do it. I feel like you're going to have to 
you're gonna have to use confidence because there are a lot of people that would try to der derive you off of that path especially if they're family members especially if they're your sister especially if they're your girlfriend okay <clears throat> I'm also getting that some of you may have people around you if this is not in your family that you feel like you can't trust listen to your intuition I'm also getting some of you guys don't trust your own intuition you need to I'm also hearing two things I'm hearing um, men they don't understand and then I'm hearing I think that is um, Will Smith it might be Will Smith man parents just don't understand I feel like someone has a child that's dealing with um, insecurities about their looks, their body. Okay, they may be underdeveloped. Because I feel like someone here is petite or small. They're a little insecure. And, and, I, and if you're a parent, I feel like you have, you are the queen of swords. You have just the right words to say to this child. Because I'm getting that you used to feel the same way when you were younger. A little insecure, a little unsure. If you were attractive. But you've grown into a very intelligent person, articulate person, smart beautiful, sexy, handsome. So talk to your children if you are going with, going through that. Can I get a next card please for why? Okay. So I'm getting that another reason why you need to ha have your or hold your power with pride is because some of you guys are magical. The magician Okay, I'm hearing standing your power, standing your truth. Also, I'm hearing it's time to take action on who you are. I'm also getting that some of you guys may be uh, a landlord. I, I feel like some of you guys are meant to own multitude of homes or buildings. <laughs> I'm also getting that whoever this is, like I feel like you're a well-rounded, balanced person, especially when we talk about finances and intelligence. Because I'm getting that it doesn't matter what life throws at you, you're going to find a way to stand up and stand tall. Even when you're unsure, even when life brings you some shit that you just, you're not sure about, you still succeed or you know how to. Any last words for why they should hold their power with pride? Any last words? Hmm. Because you have a powerful future coming ahead of you powerful stable abundance future <clears throat> that's going to bring you complete justice I'm also getting that in your past life for those of you that there's way too many messages I don't know where to start at in your past life guys you guys were just as abundant I'm also getting in your past life you were a magician I, in two ways you were you did work with music in your past life okay I'm also getting that in your past life you did use magic or you were able to manifest anything you want I'm also getting that you need to look at what's happening in this life in regards to your future because you know how to manifest literally anything you want but I'm getting that you block your own you block your own abilities because you get confused I'm getting that you start asking or over asking for things or you ask for things in the wrong way or you get it and you and and it's really not what you expected so you're getting you're getting blessings or wish fulfillments in ways where as almost as if like you asked for it in a very specific manner but it's not what you really meant so you didn't you need to choose your words carefully I'm also getting that if you have children, heavy emphasis on water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Aries, okay, a Capricorn or a Taurus, 
I feel like your children have the ability to like uh, see the past or they are from the past. I'm also getting that yours if someone has children, okay, especially heavy emphasis on a father. If you're a father that got two kids, I'm getting that your kids give you a lot of strength in this life. To be the greatest person that you could possibly be. Because I feel like someone goes out their way to try to be the best dad or the best parent that they can be. But I'm getting that you can have so much more if you could just tap into manifesting. Or tap into the ways that you're asking for shit. Because I'm getting that you're pretty balanced. You're pretty, you're pretty abundant. But it's something about your word choices that need to be fixed. Can I get a card, please, for why my people should hold their power with pride? Fuck fear, it says. It will lie to your face. Self-explanatory. Can I get a next card for why my people should... Uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, as I, every time I say my people, I hear, let my people go. So I'm getting that somebody's an activist. Or you're scared to be an activist. You're scared to be a person that stands up for the people. I'm getting that, I'm getting that it would actually, it, if you're scared to be an activist, all right. I'm, I'm also getting that someone's child is going to be an activist or a lawyer or judge. They're going to work for the they're going to work for the government. Okay, they may fear this or you may fear them doing this, but that is their calling in this lifetime. I'm also getting that um, if you're scared to be an activist, then go into the degree, find another way to serve the people, to let your people to, to free your people. I'm also getting that. Somebody works for like something where people are giving back their land or giving back reparations or there someone works for something where they are trying to free their people from some type of uh, and shackles and train chains. I was about to say train. Okay, so somebody could work for the train, the train people. Like I feel like someone is trying to help people escape like poverty or something like that. Or struggle. I'm getting that this is several people that I'm getting. I'm getting like you're you're fearing helping the less fortunate. Don't fear that. That's your calling. That's why you're here. Or this is why your children are here. I got goosebumps. So I know I'm fucking right. I'm here in DMX. I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm hearing someone saying I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. I, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be helping someone, but I can't. Get the fuck up. I see pride. Just remember that. I see power. I see a bad motherfucker that don't take no shit from nobody. Look at lady. Like a guard dog. She this big. What is she doing? Can I get a card, please? Yeah, it says you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Okay, I'm also getting that it's time to start meditating, stretching. I'm also getting that you fear seeing seeing things from your past life or you fear your future. Okay? I'm getting that it's time to take action and be this magical person that you are. Okay, moving on from that. Can I get cards, please? Thank you, Reverend Kindly. These are not prominent to the people that I'm talking to or that this message resonates to the people. But I, the signs that I see prominent are Libra, Scorpio, Aries. Okay. I prominently see uh, Taurus and Capricorn, um, Pisces. It could be any fire sign, any air sign. Okay. It says, you are giving away your power. You are a badass act like it I can't make this shit up that's what the fuck fell out should I pull anything else as I look over the card the card right next to me says 
don't forget it so i'm getting that that's what that's for for you're giving your power away act like a badass <laughs> and don't forget it okay can i get anything else please is there anything else that i'm supposed to say to these people anything else that i'm supposed to say to these people some of you guys may need to connect with the sun or sunflower or or with your sun some of you guys may need to connect with green or the earth like you guys need to get out planting or something like that what else am i supposed to say to the people i'm also getting somebody saying i got allergies i got allergies okay i'm getting i'm getting that it's because you're um the stuff here is is not in i'm hearing the word indigenous i'm getting i'm getting that I'm getting that you're not indigenous to this land, okay? You came from another lifespan here to this land, okay? I'm also getting that somebody must have like a um, archon, reptilian, or someone someone must have had some type of uh, some bloodline which which would make you very foreign to this land, this earth. I'm also getting that somebody comes from another country. Okay, you're going to have kids here. You may fear this, okay? But I'm getting that don't fear this. You're meant to have children in this country, especially if you come from another country. Can I get a card, please? What am I supposed to say to the people? So this card keeps coming up in my readings. This is like the third time I've seen this card today. Okay. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry all night. I'm getting that your strength is being tested. Please don't fret. I heard the words, please don't fret. I'm also hearing get ready for the get ready for the war or get ready for the fight. This wouldn't this I feel like some I'm getting like I'm getting like you need to like work out or something like that because like um the whatever's happening here, especially with the tower card and the justice card right here, I'm getting that it's gonna require a lot of strength. Also, I'm also getting that it's gonna require you to actually fight back. Someone may fear having to fight or stand up for themselves, but I see pride. I see power. I see a bad motherfucker that don't take shit from nobody. Moving on. It says, not upside down. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're not when you're lonely. So I'm getting that you're giving away your power because I'm getting that you let the way you feel overpower you versus being prideful and knowing when enough's enough. Because I'm getting that like you forced your you're forcing yourself to give yourself to someone because of financial stability or what someone can do for you or something like that and it's causing you to feel a little bit regretful and you feel like you emotional wreck or you feel like you're fearing you're fearing being alone so like it's like you need to find your power again moving on from that it says let things come and go stay calm don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. I feel like someone is using money against you to try to, 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 to destroy your own peace. I'm also getting that someone else's anger may put you in some type of fear. But I'm getting that like you have a lot of power to you. You could do whatever it is that you want. Stop playing. All right. Stop playing. Hmm. Is there anything else that I'm supposed to say to these people? Let me see. Is there any cards that I should pull out? If there is a card, God or spirit, direct my hand into that into that um, card area. If not, please let me go on. All right, angels of abundance.
God, what you got to say? First card out. That was easy. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who are spiritually supporting you and inspired you. And inspires you. You know that your generosity will be returned to you many folds in miracle ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. I'm also getting that it's time to set an altar and start offering your altar as well. It's time to start meditating. You guys could be seeing angel numbers like 111, so on and so forth. It says clean energy and food. When you fuel your body with healthy organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and higher vibrations, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And then the last one says it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be confident for good is coming to you through you and bless the world and to bless the world. I'm getting that <clears throat> some of you guys could be big donators, okay? But you don't take uh, you don't take things from other people. You fear taking things from other people. But it's time to like proclaim these gifts that are being given to you, especially all this help. Especially if it's like emotional help or money. I feel like you I feel like I'm I'm hearing that song. You got a friend in me. I don't even know what the rhythm is to that song, but I'm just those are the words I'm hearing. You got a friend in me. I'm sorry for Lady Barkin. Okay? But that's really what I got for you guys until we see each other again.